Welcome to the set of hands-on for bootloader and this is going to be the first one which will be focusing on a very simple bootloader only. The main purpose of this hands-on is to have a standalone bootloader separated from the main application. For that purpose we will need to define a memory map to reserve some space for the bootloader and we need to make sure that the bootloader is able to jump to the application. For the application, that will be the same as the one that we used in the um, former protection hands-on. Still a very simple application. The only difference is that this application will run from a different address on the flash. After we build both projects and download the binary to the board, we will be able to observe the jumping from bootloader to the application. Similar to the former protection hands-on, we will still be using the Nucleo G071RB board and the uh, same set of uh, tools and software to be required. Make sure you download the hands-on package and you have the Cube Programmer, um, any one of the three IDEs listed here, and also a terminal tool on the PC to get the print message from the board. We're going to use two projects from the hands-on package one for the application and the other one for the bootloader. This is the flash layout that we're going to have for the bootloader and application. So we reserve 32k bytes for the bootloader. Of course, as a very simple bootloader, we will not consume such a big area. But uh, later on, when we have a more enhanced bootloader, the code size will be bigger, so currently we reserve this size for the bootloader and application will start from this address 08008200. Um, here between these two we reserve uh, 5 terabytes for the metadata for the application. Uh, again, this space will not be used in this first hands-on for the bootloader, but will be used later on. Okay, we are ready to go. Let's start. Now we start uh, the hands-on for bootloader. This is the first hands-on for bootloader. So we're going to have a very simple bootloader just doing the jumping from bootloader to the application. So for the application, that will be the same as the one that we initially used in the uh, former protection hands-on. That is exactly the same. Uh, just with some print message and also LED toggling, that's it. But um, right now we will have a standalone bootloader and also a separate application. So in this case, we're going to have two projects, actually. So here we still, we will use the um, pre-generated project and this one G0 app for BL is application for bootloader and we will have also a very simple bootloader project in the folder G0 BL. And as I said, this project is actually the same as um, the previous one, simple application, almost the same. There is just one thing that is different, which is the um, starting address of the former is moved to a different location. It's not anymore the base address of uh, user flash because we are going to start from bootloader instead of the application. Okay, so uh, we can again open this project. This will be this one. We can close those files. And uh, we take a look at, uh, so Again, this is the same thing. We just have a, a print message and then call the application. And the application is also the same. Running a test function and then toggled LED, that's it. So what is different this time? This time, the different thing is the starting address. Okay, so we should take a look at what it what is changed in the linker file so previously application will start from a 0 but now we have moved the start address 
to a new one. So there will be an offset. Um, that means the application starts from 8200. This is a new address. Uh, why 8200? Because we reserve uh, 512 bytes for former metadata. It's not used in this and so on, but will be used later on. Okay, when we have the former verification from bootloader, we will use that area. Okay, so that is something changed in the linker file. Of course, if you look at the um, the linker file from IAR or KL, you will find similar things. So the start address will be modified. Um, apart from that, there is also another thing uh, need to be modified. Not this one. Um, we, can, we can take a look at we can take a look at, for example, the um, IR project. So usually you will have a system.c file where you have the um, vector table offset defined in the code. Uh, Previously, we should have uh, offset set to zero, but this time we set this offset to 8200 to be in line with the linker file. Okay. You have the same thing, uh, similar thing, the other IDEs. So then you can just uh, compile the project. Of course, at this moment, if you just download it to the flash, it won't run because system starts from uh, the base address. So we also need to build the um, bootloader project. It's this one. So we can make a boot, build of this one. And uh, you can also take a look at what bootloader is doing. It's very similar to duplication. There will be some uh, initialization for the com in order to be able to print something from UART. And, and then after that, it's just a function to jump to the application. That's it. So we can take a look at uh, what this function is doing. So we have a jumper.c. So this function, um, jump to application, will first do erase of the internal SRAM, just to make sure we don't leave anything to the application before jumping to it. Okay, then after that, we get the ROM start address of the application and then set, a, set a MSP and then just call this function. So this is a function pointer pointing to this address and then we'll jump to it. That's it. So this is how um, bootloader jump to application works. Okay, so then we can compile this one and program the binary to the board. For QBID, we can do the programming from Cube Programmer. Um, we choose this one. The binary of, of bootloader is inside debug folder, so we program this one to place address of uh, user flash. And then we can also program. So at this moment, we can take a look at the, um, the print message. So let's clear the screen. I do a reset of the board. Now you can see this is the print coming from the bootloader. And bootloader is trying to jump to application. However, at this moment, if you take a look um, of the um, location where application supposed to have this is not the this is still some data okay we can clean the flash first and then we program this binary okay and then we go back to this area so this is uh, there's nothing for the application right now that means although the bootloader tried to jump to application but 
there is no application program on board yet, so it, it won't run. Then we can program the binary of the application. It's here. Program this one, but this time we need to make sure we program to address at offset of uh, A200. So then, oh, sorry. Start programming. Okay. Then this time, we can reset the board. Now application is running. So this is how um, the bootloader jumping to application can work. Okay, so that's it for this hands-on. This hands-on should be quite simple. So in this hands-on, you have seen how to have a standalone bootloader separated from the main application, what kind of changes is needed in the application project to adapt to the new memory layout, how to jump from bootloader to main application.